Good morning, fake kids. How are you doing? Glad that you're listening, tuning in. Remember, comment in those sections. Those who are on Facebook watching on YouTube looking at, comment that you know that you're looking, that you're tuning in and you're listening to us. Thank you again for always tuning in to Fake Kids. Today, we're going to be talking about walk the narrow path. And you're like, Sister Angela, what is walk the narrow path? It means that we're going to walk the path that God has set for us. And a lot of times it's not the path we want to be on, but it's the best path for us. So let's get right into our message. Let's begin. Let's pray as you get your Bibles, your tablets, your phones, whatever you have the word of God on. And I will begin praying. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that we're gathered together in your word. We pray that as we're learning and exploring and knowing more of you, Father, that your Holy Spirit will lead God and direct us, that we receive revelation of truth from you on this day, that we are able to learn of you, God, and what you have for us. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So faith kids, let's begin with our memory verse. It's very important, faith kids. Read your memory verse every week. Uh, go over the um, passages that we do each and every week and, and so that it will encourage you so you understand and the Holy Spirit will lead you and give you more revelation on, on what it is that we're talking about and how you, as a child of God, can operate in how God wants you to do. So in Matthew chapter 7, let's go there. In the New Testament, first book in the New Testament, Matthew chapter 4. Seven and our verse is verse 14, and that is our memory verse for this week. It reads, but the gateway to life is very narrow and the road is difficult and only a few ever find it. This is saying, again, we're talking about our subject, walking the narrow path. So it tells us in this scripture that living a Christian life is a, a narrow path. And a lot of times we want, we, the devil tempts us to get off that path and, and deter us from what God has for us. But we want to know how we can just stay on that path that God has set for us and do what he has for us to do. So in our subject on today, let's look at um, uh, Jesus, because the, the, um, he did the same thing. It, the devil is doing to us the same thing that he did for Jesus. And because Jesus is our example, we're going to do what he did and how he overcame what the enemy was trying to do. So if you would turn to Matthew chapter four, go back a couple of chapters to chapter four, and we're going to read verse one through 11. And we're finding out how Satan tempted Jesus. And so you're like, he, even Jesus was tempted? Yes, even Jesus was tempted. The devil doesn't care. He just wants to destroy. So he doesn't care. He even, the son of God, he tried to tempt him. So let's read. And of course, I'm in the New Living Translations. Then Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness for, to be tempted there by the devil. For 40 days and 40 nights, he fasted and became very hungry. So Jesus is on this fast. He's not eating. He's before the Lord. He's praying and seeking God. So then the devil comes and says, during this time, the devil came and said to him, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become loaves of bread. So here the devil is tempting Jesus. I know because he's been fasting. So he hasn't been eating. He said, so if you the son of God, turn these stones into bread. Again, the devil wants to get you off track by saying, if you are a Christian or if you are a child of God, no, you are a Christian. Yes, you are a child of God. You don't have to prove that to anyone. So the devil will use friends. He'll use whomever to try to say, oh, you're a Christian. Well, then do this. Or if you're a Christian or you're a child of God, then do that. No, no, do like Jesus just did. He said, okay, Jesus, if you're the son of God. Now, Jesus, no, he's the son of God. He didn't have to prove it, but the devil wants us to try to prove who we are. No, we don't have to prove who we are. Do you have to prove that you're your mommy and daddy's child? No, because you know, that's my mommy. That's my daddy. Same way. God is your father. So you don't have to say, oh, you prove that you're a Christian. Yeah, I'm a Christian. You don't have to prove it. So let's look and see what Jesus did. So he said, but Jesus told him, no, the scripture says people do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. What did he tell him? He gave him the word of God. 
That's what we're to do, fake kids. When things come up in your life and your friends might say, oh, let's look at this video or let's play this game. You know those games you're not supposed to play and those things you're not supposed to look at. You know your mom and dad have already told you. And I know they got those filters on your devices, but they may not be on your friends' devices. And so they're saying, oh, okay, let's do that. And that's your friend. And you think, okay, well, you know, they go to church too. And oh, but those... That's not something you should be looking at. That's not something your parents are saying for you to look at. So we need to be careful when those things come around and we walk in the narrow path. That's how we're walking the narrow path. So you have to tell them, oh, no, I can't watch that. Oh, no, I can't play that game. You know that game that y'all play that we can't, don't supposed to be playing that auto theft thing. No, 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 fake kids. So those things like that, it's a simple thing. It's not that it's wrong. But it's not right. It's not what the path that God wants us to be on as his children. So when the devil comes, be like, no. And you don't have to tell your friends, you know, the word says this, but you stand and say what God says. That's how we defeat him is by the word. And that's why you have those scriptures. That's why you have memory verses. So you know the word and you're able because guess what? The devil is using the word. He knows the word too. And he will try with the word to deceive you. So let's continue to read on. Then the devil took him to the holy city, Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple and said, if you are the son of God, jump off. <laughs> For the scripture says he will order his angels to protect you and they will hold you up with their hands. So you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. So the devil took him up to this like high peak and he's like, OK, Jesus, if you who you are, you the son of God. Jump off that cliff, because guess what? God going to save you. He said he put his angels charge over you. Yes, that is the word of God. He does put his angels charge over us. But it also says, let Jesus go on to tell him. Let's read it. I'm reading. The scriptures also says, you must not test the Lord your God. So we're not to test God. Yes, God protects us. He keeps us. He watches us. He gives us his angels old charge over us. But we're not to tempt him. You're not to on purpose cause harm to yourself so that you can say, oh, Jesus, heal me. Jesus, save me. No, that's we don't do that on purpose. Yes, something tries to come. God is your protector. He heals you and you're protected, but not when you're trying to do it on purpose to test and see whether or not. So again, we got the devil tries on and on in different ways in different situations. So don't even allow anyone to say, well, if you're a child of God, you know how we play at home. We build ladders. Let's climb up on this ladder and jump off or let's do this and climb the tree and jump out the tree. No, no, no. You know, you can't be jumping out those trees and off ladders, fake kids. So don't allow the enemy to try to bring little things in like that to gift you off your path. As we continue on in our last couple of scriptures, it says next, the devil, the devil is still trying. He does not give up. And guess what? We don't give up either. He does not give up and we don't give up. He says, he took him to a peak high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their glory. I will give you all of this, he said, if you will kneel down and worship me. So he's showing Jesus this big picture. You can have this big house and you can have this and you can have that. And you can be a superstar basketball player or you can, you know, be on TV, have your own record label. And I do all that for you, Jesus. Just bow down and worship me. No. Who do we bow down and worship? Only God, only the most high God is the only one who deserves to be bowed down and worshiped too. We do not, fake kids, give in and bow down to anything other than our God, who is our creator and our savior. So fake kids, no matter what the devil throws and tries to come towards you, he says, just like Jesus did, we're to do what he did. He continually to say what God says. He continually to give them, give the word back to Satan and says, no, the word says, no, God says, no. We continue to do that. So when we're tempted, faith kids, when your friends or other people are saying, let's do this and let's do that. And you've got this check in your spirit because the Holy Spirit is telling you, no, that's not what you should be doing. 
that's how we know. When someone is doing those things and something is saying, should I not, should I, should I? I don't know what my mom and my dad are gonna think or say. That Holy Spirit is speaking to you, fake kids, and he's telling you, no, that is not the path that God has for you, and that's not the path that God wants you to be on. So faith kids, hope you got this message, hope you understand, hope it helps you that when you're tempted, when the devil is throwing these things towards you, we give the word back to him and tell him no. The word says, God says, he'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Just know the word, so it's very important. Read your Bible, faith kids, study those scriptures, do those memory verse this week. Matthew 7 and verse 14. Study on that verse this week and let God reveal more and more to you through his word. So again, thank you, fake kids, for tuning in this week. Know that you are always loved. God loves you. He is always with you and protecting you. And as we go and leave for this week, have a blessed and great week and know that God's face is upon, shines upon you. Let his peace be with you. See you next time, fake kids.